What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mayhem Matthew. Today, we're going to be talking about Jimbo Fisher out as head coach for the Texas A&M Aggies, and I'm going to predict who I think is going to be Texas A&M's new head coach. So Jimbo Fisher was informed of the school's decision Sunday morning. Uh, sources told ESPN um, associate head coach Elijah Robinson will serve as the A Aggies interim head coach. You know, um, that's pretty much the news that had broke this morning. Um, and I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. This probably should have happened at the end of last year. Um, and they decided to pull the trigger um, this year uh, after, you know, losing a couple games and not meeting the expectations uh, of the Texas A&M Aggies. You know, started out going eight and four, eight and four, eight and four. Then the COVID year happened. He went nine and one, which was his best year. And then, you know, kind of went downhill from there, five and seven. And now uh, I think he has uh, four losses already, I think. Um, but he has a couple losses any anyhow. Um, and the Texas A&M Aggies are not happy with it. Uh, they weren't happy with losing, you know, seven games last year. Um, that's not the expectation for Texas A&M. Texas A&M has the facilities and um, has pretty much everything you need to be successful um, to be a head coach at Texas A&M and to win a national championship. They have the money over there uh, for NIL, and they have the players right now, you know, five stars all over the field, and Jimbo Fisher can't get it done. So, um, but, you know, he should have probably been fired at the end of last year. That's my opinion. But, um, you know, Jimbo Fisher had one more year to get this straight, and he is uh, he's fired now. So, but I'm sure he's a happy man. Um, he don't have to have the pressures of winning games anymore. He has – uh, guaranteed um, $25 million, and then over the rest of the course of the seven years or whatever it is, uh, he'll be paid millions and millions of dollars, adding up to like $75 million or $80 million, whatever it is. It's a record-setting buyout. Jimbo Fisher fired. I think I have the right guy for Texas A&M, and I think Texas A&M is going to hire this guy. This guy has um, a lot of ties to Texas. The state of Texas has a lot of ties to Texas A&M as well. Also has a lot of ties to the NFL. This guy we're talking about here is Cliff Kingsbury. He played quarterback for the Texas Tech Red Raiders under uh, Spike Dykes and um, Mike Leach. Um, you know, then as a coach, he was the uh, he was a offensive coach for Houston, offense coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Texas A&M, he was the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach in 2012 with uh, Johnny Menzel. Right, he coached up Johnny Menzel, and he was the offense coordinator under um, that 2012 team that was really good with Texas A&M. Then he was the head coach at Texas Tech. Um, had a good run there from 2013 to 2018 before he went to the NFL with the Arizona Cardinals. He was the head coach. He got to coach up um, Kyler Murray there, and then now he's at Southern Cal. He's an offensive analyst and quarterbacks coach, um, coaching up Caleb Williams. So he has a lot of experience with quarterbacks. He was a quarterback himself. He's a quarterback guru. You know, he's uh, coaching up right now. Um, one of the best uh, college quarterbacks right now in Caleb Williams, Johnny, and then, you know, in the past, Johnny Football and Kyler Murray. So um, he has a great resume, um, you know, even though he didn't pan out too well uh, in Arizona. But I think he is the perfect fit for uh, a Texas A&M job. You know, he has a lot of ties, like I said, from Houston to Texas Tech, to um, Texas A&M. So, and also he has a lot of ties 
from uh, Southern Cal, you know, out West. Um, so coast to coast guy, I think Cliff Kingsbury uh, is the man for the job. That's who I'm predicting will be the next head coach at Texas A&M. Um, you know, you hear about the guys like Dan Lanning, Kalen DeBoer. Um, you hear guys like, you know, um, Lance Leopold. Um, you're hearing about all these other guys that uh, Lane Kiffin. You know, you hear about all these guys that pretty much every single time there's a firing, these coaches come up as a possible candidate. Um, you haven't really heard too much about Cliff Kingsbury, and I think Cliff Kingsbury is going to get the job. Uh, I think he's already been in talks with Texas A&M, and um, don't be surprised whenever you come click on this video and um, hear me predict this because I think he's the right man for the job myself. But if you like this content, smash the thumbs up, and if you really like this content, hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 400 subscribers.